Welcome, one and all, to Pacific Forum for Pop Talk. I am your host, Mike, and this morning I have two stories I'd like to talk about with each and every one of you. One coming from Geek Tyrant about HBO canceling J.J. Abrams' sci-fi drama series, Dimamati, due to budget. And the other is about the announcement of a season two of Revelations, this time called Revolutions for Masters of the Universe by Kevin Smith. Netflix, when will you learn? We didn't like Masters of the Universe Revelations. What makes you think we're going to like Revolutions? But before I get on a little tirade, let's go ahead and read the first article. This first article, as I said, comes to us from Geek Tyrant. And it's talking about Divi Monday being canceled due to budget. And this story comes to us by author... Joey Parr, and it goes on to say, J.J. Abrams and his bad robot production team have been developing an ambitious sci-fi series for HBO titled Demon Monday. Bad Robot was asking for a mid-200 million range for the series, which is too rich for HBO's blood. Warner Brothers Television and HBO tried to get Bad Robot to lower the budget, but they wouldn't budge on it, so HBO shut it down. Good. It's probably going to be full of lens flare and mystery boxes. There's going to be probably no point to the plot either. Like most of J.J. Abrams' movies and TV shows. The series would have followed what happens after a woman is torn away from her husband and daughter in a brutal scientific accident as she is forced to unravel a conspiracy to reunite with her family that has been lost to a dark, distant other world. Daniel Deadwire, Watchmen Station Eleven, was set to star in the series. Abrams has been having a hard time getting his project off the ground and into development since he made that mega deal with Warner Brothers. Yeah, because everything that J.J. Abrams brains is crap. Look at Star Wars. Look at Star Trek. It's utter crap. With Warner Brothers Discovery under new leadership, they are reevaluating a lot of things, including Abrams' deal. Abrams wrote Demon Monday and was also going to direct it. This would have been his first TV creation since Alias. Maybe he'll end up shopping it around to other streaming services at some point. The question is, does Abrams really need 200 plus to make the series? Probably not. It's probably his ego getting in the way thinking that he's God's gift to Hollywood, and the truth is he can't do crap. And that's just my opinion. Again, you look at Star Wars, you look at Star Trek, you look at anything he does, it's not good. There's no story to it. He even talks about, in interviews, mystery box, mystery box, mystery box. Oh, we don't, we don't need to touch that mystery box. We don't need to solve that little piece of the puzzle. It's just a mystery box. I think HBO and David Zaslav in particular are doing a good thing here and getting rid of the dead weight. Who wants to watch the J.J. Abrams series where it's going to go nowhere from start to finish? I certainly don't. How about you guys? With that being said, let's go ahead and move on to our next story here. And our next story comes to us from Superhero Hype, and it has information on the new Masters of the Universe Revelation sequel series, Revolution. Who asked for that? I certainly didn't. You certainly didn't. And if anybody did enjoy Masters of the Universe Revelations, well, good on you. I just know after the first five episodes of Revelations, I wasn't going to go through the second half, and I didn't. And I'm still not going to. This article from Superhero Hype was posted on Wednesday, June 8th, and it's by Blair Marnell, and it says, Netflix announces Masters of the Universe Revolution Animated Series. And it starts off by saying, although Masters of the Universe Revelation proved to be divisive among He-Man fans, it must have done well enough for a sequel. Or Netflix is just that dumb. During today's Geeked Week panel, Netflix announced a sequel animated series, Masters of the Universe Revolution. Kevin Smith will once again executive produce and serve as the showrunner for Mattel Studios and Netflix. Powerhouse Animation will also animate the series. Smith quickly confirmed the news on his Twitter account. 
And here it is from this Twitter account. After revelation comes revolution. I'm ecstatic to be making more messages of official with Mattel and Powerhouse. Blah, 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 blah. Yada, yada, yada. Yeah, he's overhyping it. He's probably going to say it's going to be the best series ever. We all know where it's going. It's going to stink. Revelation stunk. Come on. But Netflix is that dumb to give him the sequel series. Absolutely stupid. Absolutely stupid, and yes, that is my opinion. According to Netflix, He-Man and Skeletor, the final episode of Revelation actually did leave things open for a sequel. Evil Lynn relinquished her power, and Tila became the new sorceress, and for perhaps the first time in his life, Prince Adam no longer had to hide his dual identity as He-Man. Meanwhile, Skeletor was assimilated by the Mother Horde cult, which has some connection to Hordak and the Horde. That may also imply that He-Man's sister, She-Ra, could appear as well. For now, Masters of the Universe Revolution doesn't have a release date, but sometime in 2023 or 2024 seems like a safe bet. Will you watch the upcoming sequel to Masters of the Universe Revelation? Let us know in the comment section below. Well, you've already heard my stance. I won't be watching it. I won't even watch the second half of Revelations. That's how bad I think the series is. And if you don't believe my feelings on the first half of Revelations, well, you can watch the video and I'll make sure to post the link to that video in this very video. These are the stories for this edition of Pacific Forum for Pop Talk. If you liked what you saw here, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like what you saw here, give it a thumbs down. Share this with your friends. And as always, subscribe to the Pacific Forum for YouTube channel. I would greatly appreciate it. And remember, I'm not just a baseball guy. I'm an all-around guy. Take care, all.